so dear student my name is vai lalit today i am going to start complex numbers complex number is a very important topic for the competitive examinations as well as for the 12th examinations definition of the complex number properties of the complex numbers third one various illustrations of the properties of the complex numbers polar form cube roots of complex numbers argument of the complex number geometrical representation of the complex number these are the various points on the complex numbers which we are all are going to study so initially we will take up definition of the complex number any number of the type of z is equal to x plus i y is called a complex number where x and y both belongs to real number and i stands for root of minus 1 this is called iota why z is equal to x plus i y is called a complex number because complex number is the biggest set of the numbers all numbers are subset of complex numbers but vice versa is not true z is equal to x plus i y is called a complex number where x the real part of z is defined as that you write r e z is equal to x and imaginary part of z is written as y imaginary part is not taken as i y it is taken as y only now mod of z is defined as root of real part of z to the power 2 plus imaginary part of z to the power 2 now if we write the conjugate of the complex number that is z bar is equal to x minus i y then mod of z bar is defined as root of real part of z to the power 2 plus imaginary part of z to the power 2 here mod of z is equal to root of x square plus y square and here it becomes root of x square plus minus y to the power 2 that is root of x square plus y square we can see mod of z is equal to mod of z bar now if we multiply z into z bar we will get x plus i y into x minus i y that is x square minus i square y square that is x square plus y square z into z bar can be written as mod of z to the power 2 you must remember that mod of z to the power 2 is equal to z into z bar now now we come to the properties of the complex numbers that is properties of the complex numbers now z 1 into z 2 whole mod is equal to mod of z 1 into mod of z 2 suppose we take z1 is equal to x1 plus i y1 and z2 is equal to x2 plus i y2 if we multiply z1 and z2 we will get x1 plus i y1 into x2 plus i y2 real part is multiplied to the real part that is x1 x2 imaginary part is multiplied to the imaginary part that becomes i square y1 y2 then i times of x1 y2 plus x2 y1 that is x1 x2 minus y1 y2 plus i times of x1 y2 plus x2 y1 if we take the mod of z1 into z2 that is z1 into z2 mod is equal to root of real part to the power 2 plus imaginary part to the power 2 by solving the quantity in the root we will get x1 square plus y1 square in one bracket and x2 square plus y2 square in the second bracket we can write z1 into z2 whole mod is equal to mod of z1 into mod of z2 this is the first property of the complex numbers now we come to the second property that is mod of z1 by z2 is equal to mod of z1 divided by mod of z2 if we take again we take z1 is equal to x1 plus i y1 and z2 we take x2 plus i y2 then z1 by z2 is equal to x1 plus i y1 divided by x2 plus i y2 z1 by z2 is equal to x1 plus i y1 divided by x2 plus i y2 by rationalizing denominator we will get x1 x2 minus x1 y2 plus i times of y1 x2 minus x1 y2 divided by root of x2 square plus y2 square so z1 by z2 can be written as x1 x2 plus y1 y2 plus i times of 
y1 x2 minus x1 y2 divided by root of x2 square plus y2 square. Now z1 by z2 whole bar can be written as root of x1 square plus y1 square divided by root of x2 square plus y2 square. That will become mod of z1 divided by mod of z2. Now we come to the third property of the complex number that is mod of z1 plus z2 is always less than or equal to mod of z1 plus mod of z2. We can generalize it and we can write it like this mod of z1 plus z2 plus z3 up to zn is always less than or equal to mod of z1 plus mod of z2 plus mod of z3 up to mod of zn. Property can be proved by taking the square of mod of z1 plus z2 to the power 2 that is z1 plus z2 into z1 plus z2 whole bar that is z1 plus z2 into z1 bar plus z2 bar z1 z1 bar becomes mod of z1 to the power 2 z2 z1 bar plus z1 z2 bar plus mod of z2 to the power 2 we can write mod of z1 plus z2 to the power 2 is equal to mod of z1 ka square that is mod of z2 to the power 2 z2 z1 bar plus z2 z1 to the bar that is mod of z1 square plus mod of z2 square plus twice of real part of z2 z1 bar now mod of z1 plus z2 to the power 2 can be written as mod of z1 square plus mod of z2 square plus twice of real part of z2 z1 bar till now both the sides are equal now we take from the property mod of z1 square plus mod of z2 square is equal to twice of mod of z1 z2 into mod of z1 bar. Now when we write real part of z2 z1 bar is always less than or equal to mod of z2 bar into mod of z1 bar. If we put uh, mod of z2 into mod of z1 bar in place of real part of z2 z1 bar the right hand side will become greater than the left hand side though the equality sign will change into inequality sign and this will become z1 square plus z2 square is plus mod of z2 plus mod of z1 bar. This will become mod of z1 square plus mod of z2 square plus mod of z2 plus mod of z1. Now we can make it a perfect square that is mod of z1 square plus mod of z2 whole to the power 2 and we if we take the square root on both side it will become mod of z1 plus z2 is less than equal to mod of z1 plus mod of z2 and if we generalize this uh, equation we can get mod of z1 plus z2 plus z3 till zn will always be less than equal to mod of z1 plus mod of z2 plus mod of z3 till mod of zn.